from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2018. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back, uh, this is VMworld 2018. You're watching theCUBE with Justin Warren. I'm Stu Miniman and we've got a nice presence here front of the VM Village, right next to the Solutions Expo, where over the three days, we've got about 95 guests and 75 interviews. Happy to welcome back to the program. Lynn Lucas is the CMO of Cohesity. Uh, people were commenting a little bit about our presence here, but uh, I don't know, I think Cohesity has a little bit of a bigger footprint and a few more people have been talking about you uh, there. So, first of all, welcome back to the program. Well, thanks very much for having us. Yeah, we've been uh, so excited to be here at uh, VMworld. It's obviously a core set of customers, a core part of our business, and yeah, we thought we'd make a little bit of noise the first night. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of noise. The, the, the booth is hopping, people are lining up. You usually have uh, some games you're doing. I know I'd seen it at Cisco Live. Uh, yeah, maybe give people just a, a little taste of what Cohesity's doing at the show. Well, sure, so you know, we do have a great, amazing marketing team here, and they've got some cool games going on in the booth, but what it's really about is bringing folks in and talking about how we can help them with their uh, consolidating their data silos, and so we've also got eight demo stations in there, live theater presentations. Adam Rasner, who was here on the program earlier. From AutoNation, Auto Nation, yeah. CIO is speaking again today, and uh, what we're here to do is really talk to customers about how we can help them really modernize their data center and move uh, into a hybrid uh, cloud world. Yeah, it's always interesting. At VMworld, there, there's, uh, you know, customers, I want to spend a bunch of time understanding how to use even more the things that I've got, but then there's also the, the new stuff. So, Cohesity, you have a mix of that, new product announcement, Helios, maybe bring us through, you know, what customers are really digging into and uh, bring us up to speed on Helios. Yeah, absolutely, thank you for, for mentioning that. Well, there's this broader trend, which of course you guys have been covering, which is data's fueling business, but data is fragmented, it's in all these silos. Cohesity's been addressing that for the last several years with Cohesity Data Platform, hyper-converged secondary storage. Helios now adds to that offering and provides a single global unified view of all your secondary data and applications. It's a SaaS based service, but it's not just a dashboard or a monitoring, it is active management, which is really going to bring about great um, efficiencies for the IT organization. Yeah. I was speaking to your CEO, I think it was yesterday, we, we had a briefing and he, he walked me through some of that and I actually spoke with your customer AutoNation last week as well and they gave me an update on things. And it, it became quite clear to me that I'd, I'd missed something I'd misunderstood about Cohesity, that it wasn't just about data protection. That's just sort of the first thing that, that you do with it. And AutoNation mentioned this as well, that they'd started using Cohesity for, for data protection, but then they, they realized that, well actually I could use this for secondary data storage. And they, they'd already had the platform, they'd bought it a couple of years ago, and these additional features just arrive on the platform. So is Helios another one of these features that just gets added to something that you've already made an investment in? So thanks uh, for, for kind of calling out those use cases. So Helios uh, is actually available as a freemium offer right now, and it's intended for customers that have multiple sites, whether right. those sites be you know, LA, Tokyo, Dubai, but also in the cloud, because Cohesity offers capabilities if you're in Azure, if you're in AWS, and now Google Cloud as well. Um, so our new freemium edition of Helios is going to give that global view, that ability for IT to at a glance see how all of their secondary data and apps are working, do they have uh, any capacity uh, needs coming up, and the ability to roll out automated uh, policies globally. And so this is where we hear a lot of interest from IT because infrastructure really frankly has been so primitive, right? When you think about it, most of it architected in the last century. And they spend so much time just trying to keep things up to date and keep the complexity down. And Helios offers a single way to manage all of that. Um, and there's a lot more coming in Helios over time because it's got machine learning capability built into it, mm. so I think you're going to see just the beginning right now and a long uh, 
list of things that'll be coming out over time that will really help IT advance uh, their operational efficiency. Yeah, Lynn, Lynn definitely. Multi-cloud is one of the top things we've been seeing at, at this show, and, and it's matured. VMware's position, their partnership uh, with, with AWS and some of the other providers. Help us understand how, how Cohesity lives in this multi-cloud world, and the things like the VMC and, and all those, how do those tie together? Yeah, great, great question. So, you know, customers, as you said, they're in a multi-cloud world, and what most um, organizations are understanding is that that two things, one, they've got to choose the cloud for the right set of workloads, right? It's not a panacea, it can be more expensive if it's not thought about uh, in terms of the use cases that they're looking for. It obviously has a massive advantage um, in terms of elastic scalability, compute power. And the other thing I think that now is becoming more to the forefront is that the cloud is created for IT just as many silos. Um, and if you're a multi-cloud organization, which most are, well now you've got silos of different types between the two clouds. So Cohesity is creating with Helios a single operating model across any environment, whether that be cloud, core, or edge. Um, and that is really what we aim to do is create that invisible kind of layer so that IT can focus more on helping the business. You know, I was talking to a prospect here just a couple of days ago, um, and you know, because we're so today instant gratification oriented, the CEO just says, uh, hey, I need that file, or I need this deleted maybe because of GDPR, and the IT teams are obviously struggling with how does this happen when I have such complex infrastructure silos. Helios is a first step in helping to solve that. Yeah, Lynn, Lynn I'm wondering, you know, there's so many players that want to be that, that platform across the multi-cloud world. VMware put their case forward as to how they do this. You know, Microsoft has pretty good positioning when we talk about hybrid cloud. Can, can you speak to how, you know, how Cohesity can be across these environments, how partnerships, alliances, ecosystem, uh, help put this together because no single company can do it all. Totally agree with yeah. you. I mean, I don't think any vendor today could operate on their own. It, it is an ecosystem. So first and foremost, um, VMware is our partner uh, and the cloud providers are our partners along with many other companies that are here, Nutanix, Pure. We operate in the secondary world, right? The secondary realm first and foremost. And that's the 80% of the enterprise data and infrastructure that hasn't had a lot of innovation. You pointed out it started with data protection. There's been a lot of pain points there, but it extends to file, to test dev, to analytics. And we really provide that complement to VMware um, for customers that are looking for a way to modernize their data center where Cohesity can back up, um, instantly restore VMs in the case of a disaster, also move them up to the cloud for test dev, um, then spin them back when they're ready to come back into production. So we're a real complement to um, the primary environment. I'd like to dig into that a little bit, Lynn. So one of the things that when I'm talking to vendors and, and particularly with customers, they, they sometimes take a solution to remove some pain points. But then once they've actually got something in place, there's all of these new possibilities that it opens up for them. And particularly around the silo aspect, could you maybe give us an example of a customer who's been able to realize a new opportunity once they use Cohesity to, to remove some of that siloing and, and now they can build things on this platform that they've purchased? Yeah, so great question. So uh, one of our customers, you've talked about automation, but let me bring up another one. Uh, Manhattan Associates, a uh, large uh, organization, software organization, also started with Cohesity, with data protection, and then realized we can use the same platform for consolidating file services. Mm. It allowed them to, instead of adding OpEx in the form of additional teams to manage their very massively growing environment to reinvest those teams in actually a new uh, model for the business which is to bring out more capability for the business in a faster uh, time than they would have otherwise. So a lot of what we talk about is the operational simplicity that we bring for every business, what they invest that in or reinvest those resources in is going to be different, but it enables them, in that case, to do more in their core business, which is serving their uh, uh, manufacturing supply chain customers in a more efficient way. 
And that's that's quite important, I think, for IT teams to be able to, to join with the business and to show that they're actually providing new value rather than being seen as just a cost center, which we, we hear that from IT teams all the time. They're quite sick of being, we, well, you're just cost. We, you're not involved in strategic decisions that are important to the business. So having a platform something like this means that you can be part of those conversations. You can get a seat at the table and and be involved in creating new biz new value for the business. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the analyst community's been talking about this for a long time. I know, right, that most of IT, unfortunately, has been investing, I think it's 80%, maybe 80% plus, in just keeping everything running, and the business gets so frustrated and creates shadow IT. Yeah. Another customer of ours, a Verizon subsidiary, XO Communications, uh, another example where instead of having to, I believe, invest in seven more folks just to manage uh, their data protection and their file storages, once they were able to invest in Cohesity because of the simplicity, uh, not having so many vendors, not having the complexity of managing silos of infrastructure, they took that same budget and were able to invest it in doing more for their government clients. Mm. Impressive. Yeah, uh, Lynn, wonder if you could give us, uh, you know, the, some of the co company update. Uh, you know, number of customers. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the product, but just kind of step it back at a corporate level. Yeah. So the solution's really resonating. We had uh, the good fortune to put out some news about our fiscal year. We grew 300% year over year in revenue, uh, which is, uh, I think, a fantastic growth for any company. We're certainly super pleased at the confidence our customers having us, we saw a 76% growth in new customers Q4 over Q3. Um, and this is primarily folks that I think are seeing the benefit of moving to a modern scale out platform for data protection. As you mentioned, there are others now starting to discover file services. We feel that we haven't even tapped that. Um, and these are, uh, you know, we've mentioned some customers, but others like Hyatt, uh, US Air Force, so there's some very large enterprise and government customers that um, have seen the benefits in the secondary world of adopting the new scale out uh, hyper-converged platform. That's great. Uh, Lynn, last thing, we were talking about multi-cloud. Uh, I think you had some news you wanted to share about uh, where else we might be seeing Cohesity in the Cube. That's right, so let's break the news here. So uh, we are super pleased to uh, have theCUBE at Microsoft Ignite in the Cohesity booth. We are very uh, excited about that opportunity. Microsoft and Azure obviously being uh, very strong uh, partners with Cohesity. We do a lot of work with them um, and we're excited to bring theCUBE to the Microsoft customer set and your global audience walk, watching worldwide uh, in about a month's time, I think. Yeah, Lynn, absolutely. R really appreciate the partnership. Uh, yeah, for those that don't know, we, you know, look, we, we love to cover all the shows. We do over 110 shows. So Microsoft shows have been on the top of our list and, you know, we, we've talked with Microsoft, we have lots of guests on the program for Microsoft of the Years. We've had Satya Nadella on, we've had Brad Anderson on, um, but you know, it, it, through the partnership with Cohesity, we're there, we're going to have lots of editorial guests from Microsoft, from the ecosystem, our independent coverage, but uh, with, with Cohesity uh, as our host. So thanks, thanks again. Happy and, uh, to have uh, you guys there and, and make the opportunity. Microsoft, obviously a massive player in the IT ecosystem. It's important that you guys cover what's going on at that show. Okay. Great, so uh, you know, of course you can always check out the Cohesity website, all the places there be, to find where we'll be, check out thecube.net. For Justin Warren, I'm Stu Miniman. Always great to catch up with you, Lynn Lucas, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back with lots more. Thank you for watching theCUBE. <laughs>